Hello everyone, it's Attacker Simba the T here, and for today, we are going to discuss up some recent Nintendo and gaming news for today's video. And so for today's topic, it has been quite a while since the latest update about Candy Hino Comic Chronicles, that being in terms of DLC, and the upcoming Switch release, since it was released last year on October. And there are fans asking for more characters, and especially, you know, to vary things up, such as the characters from the, sec from the second season of Demon Slayer, like, you know, Tengen Uzui, Gyo Taro and Daki and all, and you know, since we won't be getting the third season, possibly until next year, I can at least say that Demon Slayer Hinokama Chronicles still has some more updates to come, and thanks to, th but thanks to a source, we finally got confirmation that we will be getting more DLC characters for this game, and so with that, let's not waste time, let's get straight into the news. So right here, according to the source, this was founded by a jump scan league that was provided by DBS Hype. If you don't know about DBS, DBS Hype, they are known for, well, I mean, aside from the fact that they mostly focus on Dragon Ball news, they also do got, have some sources for jump scans like Demon Slayer and any sort of anime games or any, or, you know, just anime in general. But here we got the official jump scans for the upcoming DLC characters for the Hinakami Chronicles. So yeah, for those who wanted Uzui and the upper rank characters, then here here you go. But now we are gonna we are gonna be getting four, and I guess you can say seven new characters in this DLC pack. That being the Sound Hashira Tengen Uzui, and as a Go Kamado in her you know awakening demon form. I mean she's already a demon in the show, but moral if you saw the second season, you know what I'm talking about. And then we also got the upper six characters, Daki and Gyotaro. Now I'm not entirely sure if these counts as new characters, but given how the game kind of features the characters in their school outfits as separate, I. I'd rather just prefer them as costume swaps since they're just the same play they have the same moveset except with like a different ultimate i can only say that they are this is kind of a possibility but yeah we are also not only will we get in these four characters we will also be getting the red light district cost um, outfits of tanjiro zenitsu and inosuke now they haven't really given out an, an exact release date but Many fans, but from what I've heard, they assume, and I think it's going to be coming out this summer of 2022, in which we have to remember... Summer is also the release of the Nintendo Switch version of the game as well. It is currently only in a physical standard. We don't really know about the digital one yet or if there's ever going to be a deluxe edition. But however, this game is obviously getting a digital one and a, a physical one. And with the upcoming DLC coming out this summer, this makes it even better. But yeah, hope you got, hope you tank, hope you Uzui fans are very happy. I'm at least excited to see how these characters would play. I really, and I'm also curious about, about this other Nezuko since she doesn't really fight that much in the second season in that form but I'm really wondering after all this is CC2 they can basically make a moveset out of anything while trying to stay true to the, to the characters moveset and the anime but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about the upcoming DLC characters for the, for the Hinokami Chronicles are you excited for them I want to know all your opinions and thoughts down below and so with that Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos, follow my Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time. And remember this, once a legend, always a legend. Like a